Welcome to another video series from Edgewater Fullscope. My name is Bill Kinahan. I'm a senior solution architect with Fullscope. And today we're going to do a brief overview of the Dynamics 365 CRM for Outlook client. Now, the Dynamics 365 CRM for Outlook client has been around for a number of years. Um, it was going to be deprecated by Microsoft, but in the recent months, they have determined to continue to, to develop it and, and keep it within the application. So what this is, is it's really Dynamics 365 from within the Outlook interface, okay? It's got the full application functionality that you would see in the browser, except for accessing it from within Outlook. Um, it, it's tied into core areas of Outlook, including your email, your appointments, your contacts, your tasks, as well as your phone calls. And it does give you the ability to take information offline. So this is the normal outlook that we all use on a day-to-day -day basis but you'll notice there is a few differences um, on the left hand side i actually have dynamics 365 with a few entities here i can have the full application available to me if i go down to folders you can see i've got all these different folders available to me on the left hand side i'm just using shortcuts now to just make it a little easier to get around um, so I don't have as many options to go to. Now, a normal user may only have a few options to, to select, whether those be opportunities, leads, accounts, cases, if they're on the customer service side. Um, in this case, I've just got a three or four different ones here. Now you can see these are actually entities within Dynamics. So I can click on companies, for example, and it's gonna render the page and show me there's my companies within Dynamics. And I can go in and open any one of these. Okay, so I go in and open ABC company, it's going to launch that form that we're used to seeing within Dynamics 365 that brings back all of our pertinent information, including activities, our notes, our contacts, our opportunities that are tied to this organization. Now, that's one link. I, I can drill into any one of these. I can edit any of this information. It is live information that I'm pulling from the server, and I'm really, I'm just accessing it from within, within Outlook. Now, if I go back to my inbox, You'll see that I have these little icons available to me here. These icons are just giving me a visual indicator that this is already tied to CRM. So if it is tied to CRM, I don't need to do anything with this. I could delete it out of my inbox. It's gonna to continue to live in CRM. So in this case, it's an activity that's tied to ABC company. So if I wanna view this record within the system, I actually can go in and view it in Dynamics 365 and it's going to launch me that activity within the application and this activity is tied to ABC company. At any time if I want to track one of these records or one of these emails in the system, these ones that don't have the icons tied to them are actually not being tracked in the application. So I can go in and grab any one of these, this win report for example, go in and you'll notice I have some different icons along the top. I may choose set regarding the set regarding is actually going to tie me to the actual appropriate record in the system. So I can go in and do a search within the system. Okay, so if it want, maybe I want it to be ABC still. Tie it to ABC company, click on add, and now it's added this email to ABC company and it can be tracked from there. If an email gets initiated from CRM, I'm, it's automatically gonna get tracked in the system. Um, in this case, we showed how we track it from Outlook up into CRM. The second area that you see is tied is, is the calendar. Now a calendar can have a multitude of different things on it. So I may have my calendar full of, I've got a dentist appointment here. Obviously that's not something that I'm gonna track up in, in CRM. I'm gonna keep it local um, in my Outlook and not track it over in the, in the database from the organization's perspective. But you can see I've got Meet with Jack here. This is actually just an appointment that's been within the system, okay? If I pull up this area at the bottom, you'll see that I actually have Jack and it's, it's tied to the record already. So Jack, this, this appointment is already tied to the system. I may choose to create a new one, so I'm gonna create a new one just like I would normally. Create a new appointment, meet again with ABC. Maybe put the office as the location we're gonna meet and we'll make it an hour meeting. Same function that we saw before within the email, I'm just gonna go up and set the regarding. Now, since I have chosen ABC before, it gives me that reference to just go ahead and click on ABC company. I could go in there and look for uh, a contact, an account within the system, a case, an opportunity, a lead, 
anywhere that, that can um, have an appointment against it within Dynamics, I have the ability to actually track this in there as well. So I save and close this. This record is now being tracked both on my calendar as well as in CRM. Any updates to that, um, that calendar appointment, whether it happens in Outlook or happens in CRM, will update the other system. So you don't have to worry about getting out of sync with it. The third area that's tied to it is the, is the contacts area. And you can see it's the same idea. I can go in, search for our record within here. There's Jack Johnson. You can see he's tied to ABC Company again. If I wanted to view this record, view in Dynamics, and this is our contact record that's tied to the account within the system as well. And you can see all our different uh, meetings and, and things like that. There's our last meeting that we had just set up. Um, and then lastly, phone calls and emails are tied, or phone calls and tasks, excuse me, are tied to your task list. So you're gonna get those same type of function that we just did. You see the track and the set regarding up here. Um, same idea. I as well, I'll get reminders the same way as I would an appointment or a task in the system, uh, if whether it's, it's created within CRM or whether it's created within Outlook. Now, the last piece that I just wanted to outline is you'll notice up here, I have Dynamics 365. I do have the ability to take this information offline. So it's gonna sync all of that data local for me. And then that information is gonna be accessible for me regardless whether I have a connection to the internet or not. So I can continue to work within the application um, add opportunities, update a case, change, uh, create an op or create an activity for a, a, a person or create an activity for an opportunity in the system. Um, all of that would get captured local. Then when I go online, it's gonna exchange that information with the server and any workflows and things like that that would kick off at that time would happen. That concludes our overview of the Dynamics 365 CRM for Outlook client. If you have any questions, be sure to contact your account manager. Thank you.